are thrilled to have Lino Taglapietra here as an artist in residence this week at the Pittsburgh Glass Center. He and his team from Seattle are here making work. Um, exploring some new ideas, experimenting in our hot shop and kiln shops, and we're really thrilled to have him. Lino's regarded as uh, pretty much the best glass blower in the world, and we've been trying for years to get him here to our studio. Probably I do some uh, fancy beard, small, bigger, and then I do some little sculpture with a several in calmo, with a several technique, different technique. And then I tried to do some kind of experimental work. We start after the Second War, when everybody working, and then I start to do it. I like it, and then I continue to do it. My technique is a Venetian technique, uh, historical and transforming the modern glass. It's a very uh, technique is quite old, but I change, I adapt for the modern way how they do now. I think it's a, what is the difference? I don't know exactly. Uh, for sure, we work with the same material. Uh, the way to work, blow glass more or less is the same for thousand, thousand years. No changes from up, and maybe the gas, the, instead of the wood, fire, but the technique more or less is the same. Change a little bit, but not too much. Depends on what you have here. Oh, yeah. So Lino is an Italian maestro, and he's known for using a lot of the traditional Italian techniques like cane and reticello and incolmo. Uh, these are all glass-making techniques that are incredibly complicated, and he layers them and uses vibrant colors, beautiful sensual forms, and really makes some absolutely stunning, stunning artwork. In Murano, when I born, uh, everybody broke glass at the time, now a little bit less. But uh, we have a young kids, we have a competition. It's quite interesting to learn from the big master, like Archimedes, Guzzo, Barbini. Oh, we have a lot, a lot of wonderful teachers there. It's a fantastic experience.